Man, what an idiot. Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. In this video, we're going to be reviewing another Ethos product and it is their tire shine. Let's do it. So far you guys know I have tried three Ethos products and I absolutely loved all three of them and I'm hoping we go four for four with their tire shine. I still have other Ethos products up there to try on my shelf of products to try. I have tons of products up there that have been sent to me by companies to try so I'm getting to them one by one. But the Ethos tire shine says it's a high sheen finish. I'm going to read the back of the bottle once again. Their labeling is in my opinion second to none. I absolutely love their labeling. Um, it says it's a high sheen finish. So I'm a satin guy, so I may not like the finished result, but what we're gonna look at is how easy it is to apply. Um, if it's messy, basically, we're gonna see if it slings. We'll see if it dries to the touch because I'm gonna read the back of the bottle really quick and that'll make sense to you. It says making your rubber look mint shouldn't be rocket science, but you wouldn't believe the time and effort we put into this formula. Making a tire shiny is one thing, but creating a tire shine that was easy to use, water-based, didn't sling and lasted long was was no easy feat. Ethos Tire Shine provides high sheen, new tire look without any mess or stress. And it says, I'm just gonna kinda go over, spray it onto an applicator, which I will do. Here's my applicator. Um, deliberately apply tire shine to outside faces of tires in an even and thorough manner. Apply less or more product to achieve desired finish. And then down here it says, for best results, apply tires to a clean and degrees tire I, these tires are brand new on my new on my Ram, and I did degrease them with Super Clean. I'll put the link to that video up here. I just did that. Uh, to prevent tire sling, do not over apply product into grooves of tires. Allow five to 10 minutes drying time before driving vehicle. That's pretty simple, you guys. It's just a tire shine. We'll see what it looks like. It does say it's a high sheen finish, great UV protection, long lasting no sling formula, and safe for any rubber surface and it's made in the US of A. Awesome stuff right there, you guys. And you guys, this is a sponsored video. I'm not getting paid for making this video, but Ethos did send me these products for free, which makes it a sponsored video. But you guys know me. If I don't like a product, I'm going to let you know. I've done it on other videos. Products companies have sent me. Just because somebody is nice and sends me something doesn't mean that I'm gonna say their product is great so you guys go out and buy it. Because what's that mean if you guys go out and buy it and it sucks? You guys are all gonna be mad at me. I don't want that, and I'm not ever gonna lie for a company. I just won't do it. So we're gonna get out there, we're gonna put it on the truck. I'll give you guys an overview. I might even put these on the mud flaps. We'll see what it says. It says for any rubber surface. Put it on there and see what they look like. So let's get out there. So I told you I had a shelf of products to try. I'm gonna show you. Most of these of these up here I have not tried yet. All the stuff in the back I have. But all of this, all these Ethos products up here, all these products that are stacked on top of each other have been sent to me to try and I just haven't got to them because we had such a crappy spring with rain and just haven't had a chance so I'm doing my best you guys okay so I'm gonna show you the tires they were cleaned in the last video you see they just these are brand new Goodyear Wranglers I degreased them they look really good because the, <clears throat> the tire shine the dealer put on it when I bought it which I should have told him not to put any on it slung it slung really bad but I think I'm gonna put that stuff on here see what these look like with that on there because I got them up here too which is great because I'm gonna be pulling a camper that way it's not slinging rocks and stuff all over the camper and then over here is gonna be the Sun side oh just in case you never you didn't see my last video I have not got a chance to polish these wheels yet and I can't wait to do it because you see all that I just got this I haven't even had it in a week yet by the time you guys see this though I'll probably have it two or three weeks this is gonna be a side that has the Sun on it be easier to see the rubber and the actual shine that it has go show you from a distance okay I'll get the camera set up on the other side we'll get going all right so hopefully I got you guys good set up really good I'll shake this thing up open the sprayer to more of a fan I'm going to spray it directly that smells extremely good not sure what it is blueberries maybe So 
so far I like it a lot. It's not gonna be really shiny, which is big to me. I'm just that type. I know I know people like some people like shiny tires. That's perfectly fine. I'm not saying anything bad about people like that, because you know, we're all different. All of us are different. We all like different things. But I like a nice satin finish. Let the wheel be the centerpiece, not the tires. In my opinion. I'm just gonna put one coat on, try to make sure I don't miss any spots, make sure it's even. Oh man, that smells extremely good. Let me show you guys what it looks like. And I can tell you right now, it's already drying. I can see it where it's drying. Now, if you wanted to make it shinier, you put a second coat on. For me, this is perfect for me right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to finish the other three, which isn't gonna take no time at all. We will go 10 minutes and then we'll go for a drive. And we're gonna go ahead and put some, we're gonna put some on here too, I think. I don't know, it's already kind of shiny the way it is. Ah, uh, maybe not, maybe that'll be another video. But man, I do like that. I'm that looks really good good to me so all right I'm gonna get the other ones done I'll come back and show you I might bring you back for the fourth one and that way I can show you what time it is when I get done we'll give it 10 minutes as close to 10 minutes as possible and we'll go for a drive okay we are back it's been about two minutes since I turned the camera off <laughs> do this really quick this is the last tire Not a whole lot to show in a tire shine video. And as you can tell, I'm really hardly using any product at all. A couple sprays on the applicator. Nice look and a very pleasant smell when you're using it. Okay, let's see what time it is. I gotta roll, I will roll a truck forward so I can do the bottoms, but 6.38 is what time it is. Okay, we've switched over to the GoPro. It is 6.48, it's been exactly 10 minutes. Let's see what they look like. Give you a distant shot, give you up close. Nothing on my, oh, I'm just a little bit on my fingers. If you're a satin finish person, so far, this is a great tire shine. This is the sun sights. You should get a really good idea of the gloss. Just a little bit of a sheen on my fingers. Not bad. Okay, so what we're gonna do, as I wipe it on my shirt, my work, I'm still in my work clothes, I'm gonna get in it, it'll be in a time lapse, and you guys will see that I get it above 55 or 55, and then we'll bring it back, and we will see if it's slung at all. See you after the time lapse.
see how it did. I gotta zoom you guys back out here really quick. Let's see if there's any slinging. This is the same tire. I backed it in just the way it was when, before we left. <laughs> That's actually off of there, but there's nothing on the paint. That is not from the tire shine, you guys. I should have done that, big dummy. <laughs> but I don't see anything up here. Everything up here is good. I don't see anything up here. All that is good. Use this finger. See? Nothing. Man, what an idiot. Tire shine looks really good. Let's see, go up here. There's nothing up there. Nothing there. There's you can obviously tell there's nothing on the chrome. I don't see any slinging. Nothing. Nothing. So it is not going to sling. And Brian's an idiot. So let me give you an away shot. If you want them shinier, you're gonna have to go for a second round. This is perfect for me. Looks really, really good, you guys. Real happy with it. I love this truck. Well, I got my hand clean, went inside clean it for made this ending. Uh, this is definitely a two thumbs up product, you guys. Ethos is the real deal so far. Four for four out of the products I've tried. Because I'll be honest with you, you guys know some of my favorite companies. Every one of my favorite companies are products that I love, that I keep a ton of here in, in, the, uh, in the garage. They all have one or two products. I'm like, ah. Yeah, I really care for that. So I go to a different company, get it. I'm like, okay, I like that. No big deal, you know, because I'm not uh, set on just one company. But there are companies that I really like, and you guys know that. But Ethos is making a statement with four out of four products so far that I've tried. I'm really happy with the tire shine. It gives me that really nice satin finish. It does dry to the touch. It does not sling at all. What you guys saw was me being stupid. and Because I didn't even clean those... Um, uh, mud flaps when I did the cleaning last last night with a different company shampoo Because um, I was losing daylight. And I just didn't have time. So those were already dirty But I didn't have anything around any of the fenders Front or the back of the fenders on the chrome nothing so you guys know it's not going to sling It says it is a good UV protection and then I can tell you that it's gonna be it's gonna repel water And the reason I know that is because when I was putting it on when I had my wife move the truck forward a little bit, because I didn't want to go inside and wash my hands, just move my truck. I had her come out, move it forward just a little bit. Water come out a couple of the uh, valve stem areas from me washing it last night. That's the downside to these type of chrome wheels. They're basically a plastic cap that are glued onto a metal wheel. That's what they are. So water kind of sits in them. And that water hit that, it beat it, and just kind of fell off. So it's definitely going to repel some water as well. And I decided to not put it on the mud flaps because the bottle says to make sure tires are clean and degrees for best... Uh, best results basically and I have not had a chance to clean the mud flaps yet they have not been degrees who knows what's on them as you guys saw what was on my fingers so that's why I did not put them on the mud flaps but once again thank you ethos for sending this product to me and all of the products you have sent me I can't wait to use the rest of them um, I'm trying to get through them right now but so far your company is on the right track and products are just stellar they're fantastic and I can't say much more about them so I appreciate you guys stopping by uh, if you like this video give me a thumbs up Hit that subscribe button while you're down there. Ring that bell so the next time I upload a video, you get notified. And don't forget, every Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we go live, and I'd like to see each and every one of you there.